Okay, so now the false keel is fully dry. We can now go onto the section where we start adding the ribs and the rib supports. So the first thing we need to do is start to remove all the parts. And the first part we need is this B1. We do exactly the same as I did first time around. I'm just gonna score it on the little score marks. Pops pull that one out. Okay, so all we need to do now is just take out all the ribs that we need for this next section, B1 to 9, B1 to 10, and then just give them all the sand. Where we've got the flashing marks. Okay, so now we've cut out all the ribs, these will be prepared. We can now start adding them to the uh, false kill. But this time I'm actually going to uh, just use some, this is watered down white glue. This is watered down 50-50. And all I'm gonna do, I just used water yesterday, but I'm just gonna use just a mixture of really thin down white glue. And that'll just help seal the MDF so it won't just suck the, uh, the glue, won't dry the glue too quick. That will then make it a very, uh, weak joint okay so we're going to start adding the uh, the ribs but we're not going to uh, worry about b1 just yet that sits there that's the first one we'll worry about that a little bit later on what we're going to start to do is work from b2 b3 and b4 so this time this is uh, undiluted white glue and i'm just going to put a nice bead around this edge. I'm just going to drop that one. Then I'll worry about I'm just square it up. We'll do all that in a minute. That's your first three, and we'll put one more in. Up to B5. Okay, so now I've started this first support bracket. These are B11s, so we've got B11s, B12, B13s right on the end. So we've got that large cutout slot that we just need to feed this one in two i've only got one this size they all kind of slip over each other this is when it really starts to uh, strengthen everything up and makes it quite square same again i'm just going to brush glue down this slot down that slot down that one and then this time oh. Glue all the way along the bottom. And that's the first one in. So let's repeat the same on the other side. Okay, so I've added some more ribs. I've added ribs six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to bring this this support across. This is B13. We've got two slots this time. One's larger and the larger one. And these go into the front. And these overlap each other. And then we get the strength from the two brackets overlapping. So like the before. Just painting all the grooves and all the bottom surfaces. And I'll say again, I'm just going to slide that over, just lining up all the grooves. And 
And this will just sort of put everything quite square. Just put a bit of clamp on that one. This time, what I forgot to do last time, just paint a little bit of glue on this section. The uh, port side one. And the same again. Just add that clamp there. That's already pulling these really nice and level. So there's two more ribs, nine and ten. And I'm just going to add two more supports, these are the B12, same again, we're back to just having one slot, so it can only go one way, but this time this underlaps. That's just going to tie all these three ribs together as well. Just on this inside of this part, was we'll paint a bit more glue on. And then just add the last support. Inside, slide on them. Okay, so that's all the uh, sections of the ribs added to the uh, false keel. Just got this uh, B1 to add, but it's easier to add that when we add the, uh, the extension to the bow, and we'll do that in the next video.